Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Before we get into the video, let's get this video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, go ahead and hit subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. So Elon Musk has done it again, guys. I know you guys have heard by now that Elon Musk is now the largest shareholder of Twitter, guys, only 9.2% of the company. And just last week, a couple weeks ago, Elon was having discussions about coming out with his own platform. So this comes to a shock to many that Elon has now acquired the largest stake in in Twitter's company so with that being said we also know that Elon is one of those people and public figures that once he talks about an investment that he's getting into or anything that he's doing in the investment world people the a whole crowd a whole herd herd of people is going to be running right behind whatever asset or security that Elon just acquired so that's why uh, Twitter is up over 28% at time of this recording, trading above $50 a share, guys, because of Elon Musk. We know that. So now I know the question is being asked, should I buy Twitter? Should I get involved in Twitter? Now that Elon's in it, now that it's running up, should I put my money on it? So I'm going to share my thoughts and my opinions on how you know i will play it out and whatnot guys so i never chase anything i don't care who bought what who did what i'm never going to you know run in with the fomo run in with the hype if i do want to acquire any twitter which i do which i am because anything elon is getting behind i'm pretty sure it is going to excel he's going to put his twist on it and make them do better than they already was doing also Elon is on track to be the first world's trillionaire. And the more money you have, the more power you got. And the more power you got, the more things you can do that help your business and you become even more successful. So I do believe Twitter was a good buy even before Elon got involved. But definitely now that he is involved, guys, in my opinion. But I won't be chasing it. I won't be, you know, running in with the FOMO, buying at any prices. I wouldn't do that at all. I let it run up to where it's going to run up to. I'll wait to after hours. Maybe after hours we get a nice panic or a power hour or a panic or on tomorrow. But I'll wait for that panic sale for people to start taking profits and also that panic sale. And then I will start to ease in my Twitter shares and start to, you know, get a position with Twitter because Twitter is still undervalued. It got hammered down. We know back in 2021, Twitter was, you know, came from $20, ran as high as $77 and got crashed, got hit right back down, guys. Once the market had panic and pulled back, came all the way back down to the high 20s, right around the low 30s. And now it's back on the uptrend as Elon starts to get involved. So, my opinion, my take on it, guys, I would be having this on my radar looking to get in, but I wouldn't get in right now at these prices. I'll wait for that pullback, guys. So you already know that's my take on it, guys. I always be sure to do your own research and due diligence and add your boy over on Instagram at the Behave Show. I love y'all. We out, and God bless you. We gone.